My family's been farming this land since the 1600s, and I am the eighth generation to farm this same land. My name is Dick Bine, and I'm the owner of Bine Blueberry Farms in Waynesboro, Georgia. While I was growing up, we would sit around the supper table and talk about farming and what was currently going on and eating some of the food that my father had actually grown. It was fascinating to listen to my father just uh, expound on what he really enjoyed doing. I just said, you know, one of these days I'm gonna be able to do that with my children. The places that have my blueberries are basically Whole Foods and they distribute in Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, and Alabama. We've also won the Flavor of Georgia contest five times the most in the state of Georgia. In the 39 years of farming blueberries, I've had four devastating years. Three of those years were in the last three years. The last three years, January and February, have been warmer than normal, and then March has been normal. By having warmer January and Februarys, this, the bloom seasons will start earlier, and then all of a sudden you're more susceptible to a freeze that would normally happen in March, but now you're susceptible now because these blooms are ready to go and they're exposed to cold temperatures and it destroys the bloom, which is what I'm not used to. When you lose your crop, it's your reputation. It's very devastating. Whatever's happened in the past helps you make a decision for the future. In 1980, I planted blueberries and I was one of the first blueberry growers in the state of Georgia. Now, Georgia is now number one in the United States as far as production of blueberries. We started off uh, growing the blueberries organically and we were the first in the Southeast and the third in the United States. I have a picture of all of my girls on all the products, and I was hoping that one of these days that the girls would come back, and they were very much helping me build this farm, and they've done a lot, and they've worked here, and I'm very proud of them. I think one of the things that really kind of helped me out is the girls are never embarrassed about what we did. They were very proud to grow up on the farm. They were very proud to be blueberry growers. I think always in the back of your mind, you want your child to, to take over the farm. Right now, Janie showed the most interest, and I'm hoping that maybe she will take the ball of the way it needs to be run and let her take over the farm. It would be really kind of neat if Janie came up to me, you know, in the next year or two and said she could, she could run the farm. I'd be pretty much elated. She would be a ninth generation uh, back running this farm. That would be kind of neat feeling that you would have nine generations that have farmed this land, and uh, that's very special. Blueberry plants need 400 to 800 cold hours, and a cold hour is at a time below 45 degrees. And it doesn't take but a little bit of temperatures above 70 degrees to get them ready to go. We used to be able to start uh, blooming in March, around March the 15th. Now they're blooming earlier and earlier, and uh, they're blooming in the first of March, 15 days earlier. Of the four years that we've lost our crop, 2007 we lost it on April the 8th. In 2017, we lost it on March the 16th. In 2018, we lost, it, uh, we lost a, a lot of it on March the 11th and then on March the 9th of this past year, we lost about 90%. Our losses have been happening earlier and earlier. The last three years have been devastating. If it's gonna change and it can, will continue to change like it has for the last three years, then we're gonna have to change the varieties that we put in the ground. Uh, we're going to have to change our market strategy. We're going to have to change what we do as far as preventing the freeze that could happen again because if it's done it for the last three years, there's a possibility that it can happen the next year and the next year and the next year. So you need to be aware of your business. Be in tune with it. Don't just assume that what you've got out there is going to maintain you for the next 20 or 30 years. You may have to make a change. 